something about you that day I can still hear the shimmering sound The hill is near, let's get right up Walk up to the very top We couldn't tell the sky from the ground I know my life Dobby when she's this short, don't we baby? Yep, she had her first haircut for months. We had trouble booking her in because of Covid and uh, <laughs> bless her, she had to be shaved because she had a few little knots even though we try and brush you, you were very long weren't you? And we can't believe how skinny she looks now and be how beautiful you look. You're just skin and bones aren't you darling? <laughs> Talking about updates, Amelia and P are engaged, which is very, 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 very exciting. Um, I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, but you had this whole evening planned. Some of it didn't go completely to plan. I'm sure Amelia will brief everybody like on Instagram stories at some point, maybe on YouTube, I don't know. And Amelia's also started a full-time job. So loads has happened on her side, but I'll update you when I can see her legally during Covid because she said she wants to do like a video together. So all that to come at some point. But for now, I thought I would, um, yeah, vlog. Hey JP? Okay, I was obviously making too much noise. Do you want something JP? Do you want busy busy? Go on then, come on then. Locked. of you guys are actually interested in like plants growing your own veg and things like that but if you follow me on instagram you'll realize that since last summer i've really grown an interest in it um i've always liked the idea of knowing what you're eating but i've never actually started growing my own veg until last summer which a lot of people seem to because of covid i think anyway so this year ryan bought me a grow light for christmas and i've been using it to start up my seeds um, you know, like tomato seeds and things like that that you wouldn't be able to grow until later on in the year. I started them in like February, I think, uh, maybe a bit earlier. I was a bit keen, um, but I wanted to show you something. Pretend you're interested even if you're not. First of all, I'll show you my grow light, then I'll put the camera back here and I'll show you what I wanted to show you. So that's my grow light. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. And I wanted to show you my aubergine because I'm so, so excited. Last year I bought a pinstripe aubergine plant that, from the garden centre that already had like, was already grown basically, kind of, and it had um, room to grow bigger and obviously it didn't have any flowers on it yet or anything. But this year I'm growing them from seed and I'm so impressed. So this is my aubergine plant at the moment. I'll do a little close up. Um, 
It's looking amazing. They are a bit, it's a bit spiky, like there's spikes on aubergine like leaves. Um, and where the aubergines actually grow, or eggplant, there's also little spikes on them, um, which I always forget about and always hurt myself. But that is like a proper strong start to an aubergine plant. I'm very excited. I have got a cold frame outside that I'll eventually put it in with my tomatoes. Um, but for now it's doing good under the grow light. It won't be there forever though, because the grow light won't um, be big enough for it. And also, kind of want to use the proper sun when it starts to come out, you know? So, hopefully, there we go. If you can see that, it's like pretty big. These leaves are mahoosive. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing for the last week is I've been kind of like growing some seeds and things. We've currently got aubergines going, um, tomatoes, kale, Swiss chard, like rainbow Swiss chard, rhubarb Swiss chard, spinach. I've just got a courgette seed that's just like started um, sprouting, um, which is exciting because my courgette plants did amazing last year. We had so many courgettes. So I'm hoping to have two or three of those. The only problem is I have to be a bit careful that like I could be growing all these and then we might move house at some point. Obviously we need to sell this one first. Um, so I, I, I'm a bit worried about like growing too much because the last thing I wanna do is put too much effort into all this and then like not be able to move it. Yeah, so I'm kind of treating this more as like an experiment, seeing how much I can grow from seed, learning about each new crop. So hopefully in the future when we have a nice big garden where we're able to grow more of our fruit and veg, like way more so that it sustains us through like the summer and winter and things, um, then I will know how to do it or at least know a bit of how to do it. Um, another thing that's like a little update, and I feel like these vlogs at the moment are very much like that, uh, is that Amelia obviously has a full-time job now um, and to be honest that's why I haven't really uploaded a video in the past week because I don't really know how to say it and it's kind of down to Amelia to say but she's got a full-time job now it's very exciting it's nothing to do with this YouTube channel it's not presenting it's not writing a book though I'm sure she's got plans to write another book at some point in the future um, it's still like social media and marketing but it does mean that she's probably not going to have a lot of time to create content on YouTube. So that is a talk that we are going to have. I still want to create video content completely. I absolutely love it. Um, but it is a bit of, I don't know where we're going to take this channel. It might just be me. <laughs> um, and it's quite scary because I feel like a lot of you love us both together. So I just wondered what your thoughts are on that. If I decide to change the, the journey of the channel and it becomes more about just my life or mine and Ryan's life and um, possibly my parents' home because obviously we're looking at buying a house with my parents and things like that. Would you be interested in that? Would you be completely put off of that? Should I just leave the channel too? I don't want to. It's making me quite emotional thinking about it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to open up that question to you in the comments. It isn't goodbye to Amelia yet though. We've got um, we've got a few plans coming up when we're allowed to see each other. That's the thing as well. We I want to do like a video going around her house properly because uh, Amelia doesn't go into much detail when she shows it in YouTube videos, and I want to see it in person and see more. So I'm going to film um, maybe a vlog doing that. And uh, finally, in the update situation. I am starting a little bit of a business. At least I'm thinking it. I've started a website, I've got a brand name. Um, yeah, and I'm a bit scared about that, but excited at the same time. It could be a fail. This is my worry. Um, you know, I always start, decide to start like a new YouTube channel or learn a new skill, and then I get worried that it's a bit embarrassing if I don't do well at it. Um, so it's a little bit of a risk, but it's more about that. Um, on my Instagram, hopefully, like, next week or something, yeah. So follow me on Instagram, basically, um, because I feel like you don't need to think things through as much when you share it, but on video, you edit a video, don't you, and then you, like, decide you need to take it out or put it back in or whatever. Oh, right, at least wave to the camera. Um, that's me! Ryan's animating me. 
Does it work? Can you get it to work? For the video? Yeah. It doesn't do much, it just moves the tyres at the minute. <laughs> they probably can't even see it because it's overexposed. I realise I've just been editing the video. Um, Ryan's playing around at the moment with Illustrator. Illustrator? Animator. Animator and Illustrator, ooh, using all the Adobe tools. And I was editing this video and I realised that I didn't do an intro as usual. Um, I guess I thought I'd film more and then I didn't. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that babble. <laughs> editing back I realised that it's just like me just talking to you about my thoughts and feelings and life updates. I didn't ask how you guys were, so I hope you're good too. Um, let me know how you actually are in the comments below. Let's have a bit of a conversation down there. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. When are JP? I need to show you what she looks like. <laughs> We've got someone doing some work um, in the house at the moment. They're like plastering a wall and stuff. And Juno keeps barking at them. So we've got her in this room with us in the study. <laughs> oh my God, she's so cute. <laughs> Say goodbye to everyone, JP. Say goodbye. I think she's annoyed that I've just woken her up. She's been sleeping like this, no joke. <laughs> oh God, I love you. Bye everyone, see you in the next video.